Hello, listeners, and welcome back to Cobb's Corner. I'm your host, Morgan Cobbs. Uh, on today's episode, I will be going back and completing my Infinity Saga rewatch series. If you guys noticed, I only did reviews for Iron Man up through Avengers Endgame. There's one last film that's a part of the Infinity Saga, the very last film of Phase 3. A little film called Spider-Man Far From Home, which was a prelude into uh, Phase 4, only this time I'll be doing audio commentary because this is, again, it's a new thing I'm trying out and I kind of like the the uh, format, so today's episode will be an audio commentary for Spider-Man Far From Home. For those of you who follow, who are subscribed to my YouTube channel, this episode will be uploaded to the playlist with all the other episodes, with all of my reviews of the Infinity Saga. Uh, films. So, um, and also before I begin, if you guys would like to watch along with uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, depending on where you are uh, listening from, uh, here in the, uh, well, I guess this is just to my listeners here in the United States, as of the recording of this episode, Spider-Man Far From Home is only available on the Stars streaming service. That's like with the basics, which you'd have to subscribe to. Uh, you can, I think, purchase it on Google Play for like $14.99. Uh, primetime subscription with YouTube, premium subscriptions with Sling TV, Hulu, Philo, uh, the Roku channel, and Amazon Prime Video. Uh, various rental options on Apple TV, Redbox, and Vudu. But as of now, here in the United States, Spider-Man Far From Home is not on any major uh, streaming platform yet. <sighs> Without any further ado, let's go to Cobb's Corner. As my computer loads. Sony! And of course, Columbia Pictures, a reminder that they are the parent companies of, um, well, that Sony is the actual owner of the character of Spider-Man, and he's not technically owned by Marvel, and... Okay. All right. On with the show. <clears throat> All right. Uh, on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. Oof. Okay. Extenco, Mexico. Uh, I probably butchered that pronunciation. I-X-T-E-N-C-O. Mexico. Looks like uh, some sort of tornado or blasted through here, some sort of natural disaster. Oh, cyclone. Locals are saying cyclone had a face. I'm telling you, if I ever see a cyclone with a face. I'm running the other direction. Ah, and who is he? Ah, and it's a giant Sandman person. Uh, but nope, and the other guy who showed up is, I guess, a hero. Okay. Uh, Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You as we have the opening credits, well, the opening, uh, the Marvel Studios, uh, intro plays. Yep. If you guys remember from Avengers Endgame, all the Avengers who got dusted, they, um, their cutaway scenes were cut from the intro. So now that we're post-Endgame, everybody's back in the intro. All right, Marvel Studios, 2019. In memoriam, those we have lost. Me and I, Tony Stark, 
Steve Rogers, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff. The Vision died twice. The Legend, Tony Stark. My spirit animal. <laughs> Not Getty Images. Wow. Gone, but not for gone. It's like a uh, shout out to my boys for that uh, touching. Ah, he said shit is crazy. Yeah, it's last day of school. Like, yeah. It's like, hey, no swearing. Eh, last day of school. Oh, <laughs> you're just in the middle of a pep rally, and then all of a sudden, everybody just disappears. And then five years later, they all just reappear in the middle of like a basketball game. <laughs> wow. The blip. You blipped away, you come back the same age. Everyone else is five years older. It's like, <laughs> my little brother is now older than me. <laughs> Are you taking your midterms? Wow, school's making you start the year over from the very beginning, even though you had already taken midterms, like, shoot. Now we get to see, what was it like being a regular person in, like, during this blip? <laughs> Think I've planned, like, where are the Avengers right now? A question that's still kind of unanswered in the MCU, I think. Oh, okay, he got a whole 12 step plan. He gonna shoot his shot with Zendaya. All right, yes. Black Dahlia necklace. Black Dahlia necklace, yeah. Go to Paris, Eiffel Tower, give her the necklace, and then five, you gonna tell her how you feel. And hopefully she tells you. Step seven don't do any of that. Facts, don't do any of that. Stay on your purpose. Bachelors in Europe, yes. Europeans love Americans. European listeners, please confirm or deny that statement. <laughs> I've been to Europe once. I went to London. Super fun. Shout out to my listeners across the pond. Salute. Science trip, all right. Telling you, Peter, just like stay on your purpose, all right? Just okay. Keep saving the world as Spider Man, as Peter Parker. Just stay close to the ground. Just you know, stay close, close to the ground. You know, just stay on your purpose. And then all of a sudden, uh, Michelle, you know, MJ, she gonna come to you. Yes, download a VPN so the government can't track you abroad. I am so doing that. Um, if I, when I travel to, to Europe, to Australia, um, I haven't told you guys this yet, but I am going to Micronesia for two years this fall, so yeah. VPN. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to my listeners in the South Pacific. Lee from Lights Camera Rant. Salute. Thanks to our very own Spider-Man, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Spidey, what's up? <clears throat> uh, thank you, Ms. Parker, for having me. And thank you guys for having me. Um, hooray! Let's go end world hunger, yeah! Or in neighborhood hunger, because I'm a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Nanotech. I felt like I wasn't in the pocket. I think you were a little stiff. Yeah. That's fine. So. Passport. May I do this? Get your passport. Happy. Happy. Hey. You're lovely. Your dress. Yeah. <laughs> Blip beard. Blip beard. Blip beard. Grew a beard. Guys, for the next five years, I'm not shaving. Growing out my <laughs> blip beard. <laughs> Maybe not. Very generous, Miss Pepper Potts. 
Sorry, she couldn't be here. I guess. Oh, I, I guess Pepper Potts is like the head of Stark Industries now. I mean, you know that Tony's gone, right? Now, this was a fan theory that Happy and Aunt May were seeing each other on on the DL. That was a fan theory that I heard, and then I saw the trailer for Spider-Man: Far From Home, and it became official canon. Huh? You getting a phone call from Nick Fury? Nick Fury just has your just has your cell phone number. No call ID. I'm gonna talk to Nick Fury. Don't talk to him. I can talk to him. <laughs> Takes the phone. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sends Nick Fury to voicemail. Zero fucks given. <laughs> I promise you, I'm gonna call him. Don't ghost Nick Fury. Hey, that guy's. Don't ghost Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, he's not ghosting you. Don't worry. He's not ghosting you. He's just preoccupied. He just doesn't want to talk to you right now. See? Okay? It's not ghosting if you don't want to talk to this particular person at one at that particular time. Anybody got any neighborhood questions? Take over from Tony Stark. Shoot. Y'all are really overloading this kid with all these like global questions. Like he's a street level superhero. The him. Daredevil, Luke Cage, okay, like, they street level. They ain't with the big Avengers, you know, global level, you know, threats. He's a street level hero. Ask him street level questions, right? Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Uh, graffiti art for Iron Man, yeah. Peter's surrogate father. Yeah. Tony Stark, rest in power. Well, I know he's a you know fictional character. Robert Downey Jr. is still alive, but like, <laughs> still. I have that exact shirt. It says like find X and it's like the circle. It's like I found it. I have that exact same shirt, but black, not white. I got that shirt because of this movie. <laughs> Peter Tingle. Dodge bullets, but not bananas. He said, I need a vacation. I need a break. I need to just sit and breathe and just inhale, exhale. I don't know what high school is sending kids on, like, an excursion through Europe, though. Like, y'all high school, y'all must have money, money, okay? Now, maybe it's different because I went to high school in Connecticut. But, like, I don't know what it's like going to high school in New York, you know, our neighbors to the west, our noisy neighbors to the west, if if anything, um, y'all got probably y'all probably got some of the worst drivers in the world. Okay, just saying. Um, shout out to my listeners in New York. But what is it like going to school in New York? And are there any schools like Midtown Tech that um, have the kind of money to send kids to Europe? Okay, Flash, you spoiled rich kid. He blipped, he's 16, not 21. Man, when I was 16, I could pass my 21. Please, when I was 16, people thought I was 18. Again, I'm 22 years old now. People think I'm 30. People think I'm somebody's father. He's totally ripped and super nice, right? He's a jock now. All the girls are after him. He's the jock now. Yes. Nine hours of Beast Slayers. I am with you, Ned. Only in my case, it'd be a Marvel movie marathon. Nine hours? That's phase one. Maybe. American Metro's in Europe. That's your plane. That ain't my plane. Shoot. He said, I got my own priorities, bro. Old lady with a crazy amount of perfume. Peter's allergic to perfume. Wow. Okay. Betty Brand from the Daily Bugle, who's played by not Evangeline Lilly. 
Drew Peters got a perfume. I can feel hives breaking out already. Shoot. <laughs> There's always that one that that one teacher that's just overly protective. That's just always on it. It's just always like really just paranoid. Paranoid like the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Mr. Dells. He said, "I'm out of here." He said, "I am knocked out." Just <laughs> that's low key me on airplanes. Oh, and, oh, and you're flying United. Wow, flying United. Shoot. At least it ain't spirit. Or soul plane. Maybe I'll review that next. Never played any video games. I can't remember if that's... I can't... I don't know if that's a... Red flag or not. I'm not the biggest gamer, but... Wife pretended to... Blit. Do a headphone adapter. To Venice, Italia, buongiorno, grazie, buonanotte, buonasera. Ha, ah, Heart of Iron, the Tony Stark story. Yeah, that, that sounds like a documentary that exists in the MCU about Tony Stark. I'm so going to Italy one day. I'd like to see Mafia Mama. <laughs> it's okay, that movie looks really funny. All right, I mean, I've seen Godfathers 1 and 2. Haven't seen Godfather 3. I heard it's bad. Um, might have to check it out one day, but... You know. Italian's a fun language. Shout out to my Italian listeners. I hate using the bathroom on, 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 air, on airplanes, on trains, Bathrooms are tiny. Ugh. Use the bathroom before you get on the plane. I mean, personally, I prefer the aisle seat. Ah, oh, you ain't gonna be all snuggled up next to me. Nah, that, that's that's another level. Brad and MJ, they were watching movies all the time. Dude, I'm sure that's nothing. Wow, okay, so y'all just, like, fell in love on the flight over? Nine-hour flight? Okay. Sounds like Frozen. <laughs> we have a lot in common, all right. So we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Wow. Okay, if I just decided to, like... Okay, yes, very strong and powerful woman. And now that boy's a man. If I if I decided to simply just settle for literally anyone who I had like a bunch in common with, like you know, speaking of which, I mean if anybody's uh, you know, listening and you guys have a shared love for film and movies and pop culture, that's what we talk about on this podcast, just <clears throat> hit me up. But Hi, ah, see a family wearing masks. This was pre COVID. All right, right before COVID. Oh, yeah, I think isn't there like a U.S. military base in uh, don't, don't we got a base over in Italy? Didn't we have nukes there during like the Bay of Pigs invasion or something? I don't know. History's weird. <clears throat> Venice built on built on the water. It's very fun. Seems like a very fun uh, fun place I'd like to visit. <laughs> Photobomb teacher. That be that's me as a teacher. Yes, the cool teacher. One of these days I'm going to learn Italian so I can listen to the songs and understand. Okay, this reminds me of the scene uh, Just Married, from the movie Just Married, when they were in Italy. <laughs> Oof. So, um, drop your bags off, meet at the future museum at three. Let's go, let's go. Miss, your socks get wet. 
When in Venice, your socks get wet. Is that true? I'm definitely going to Venice. I'm going to do an episode from Venice. Nut shots. I'm getting a couple's like portrait together. Eh. You trying to take a selfie? Hey, 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 okay, yeah, man, you got the uh, camera. Okay, I almost dropped it in the water. Oh, and now it's gone. It sleeps with the fishes. Ha <laughs> ha! Pizza time! Ah, just like the other Spider Man, too. Yeah, pizza time. The real Spider Man, too. Please at me. If anybody can say that, like, which second Spider-Man movie was the best? Spider-Man 2, Amazing Spider-Man 2, or Spider-Man Far From Home? Any of y'all try to tell me that Spider-Man 2 ain't the best out of those three? <laughs> hmm. You know. Ah, Black Dahlia. I'm sorry, we're getting distracted from the movie. No. <laughs> Bo. Bo. Ah, a word that can mean a million things. It can mean whatever you want it to mean at that particular moment. Kind of like the word casting. Espresso. German, American. <laughs> Bo. Bo. Anti Aloha. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going I'm, I'm to start saying bow in, in the middle of my uh, podcast. And then to my Italian listeners, oh, oh, and the water's moving. All the crabs is getting out of water. Crabby. Crabby what? If y'all ever watch uh, Beyblades. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, y'all y'all got waves now? Like is this, is this some sort of like demonstration? Like some sort of Oh Hey yeah, and there it is, alright. I would have jumped out of that boat and swam. As soon as I see the the water moving, I'm like, nope, I'm out of here. And Hydro Man, all right. Enter Sandman and Hydro Man. I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. I left my suit in the hotel room. Okay, like I really wasn't even planning on bringing it. But no, it's like trouble just follows me everywhere. I just want to live a normal life and just chill. But no, Daddy's gotta go to work. I'm wondering, is he gonna? I was wondering, is he gonna do like the Superman? Find it, find find the changing room. <laughs> what movie was that? <laughs> Superman had to find a changing room. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, you know, everybody's running for their lives. That's what it's like to be punched by water. Your savior is here! Syndrome! Nope, nope, not syndrome. No, no, no. Not syndrome. They didn't have the budget for that. And um, blasting green lasers and triangles. Because I work for the Illuminati, and they were sent... Ah, the Illuminati, which actually does exist within the MCU, as we know, after Doctor Strange 2. Um, <laughs> I work for the Illuminati, and uh, I'm really strong, and I'm sticky. 
He said, I can help. I'm really strong and I'm sticky. Sticky, icky, icky. Oh, wait. Put it in the air. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I'm really sticky. I'm really, str I'm really strong and sticky. Don't you say? I love how they're just like unaffected by the attack. Oh, it's, it's close. Close till November. Wow. Didn't check the website, bro. You literally just wasted everybody's like time and money. Like you playing with people's emotions right now. Okay, you really gonna like say, oh, we going to the Da Vinci Museum and they close till November, bro? Like you playing with my like feelings right now. Okay, like, mm. it's not funny. If y'all ever tell me to be going on like a dream getaway and the resort's closed, I'm fighting somebody. Bell Tower. Hand, hands, lasers from my hands, lasers from my hands, lasers from my hand. Oh, hey, oh, it's a very, very um, deadly concussion. Oh, and the uh, second time you got hit with the bell tower. Too bad it's not a venom symbiote, because otherwise you'd be victorious. You'd be panic at the disco. <clears throat> While Mysterio's... It's me while Mysterio is just, uh, <laughs> kicking that water's ass. Yep, yeah, like, I don't know, but he's kicking that water's ass, whoever he is. <laughs> he's beating the river into submission. Like on, uh, Journey Quest. <laughs> ah, he's defeated the Waterman. And all the water just disappears. Hey, it's the globe head. Woo, and the Black Dahlia necklace is saved. Let's go. <clears throat> they call me globe head. They call me globe head. Ha, <laughs> BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed. It's honestly just a bunch of, like, alt-left liberals. Oh, which is... This does kind of take place around the same time as WandaVision. Yeah, I don't trust BuzzFeed. Mr. Strange. Mr. Doctor Strange. Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor. Happy's there. Yeah, happy here. He came back. Yeah, happy came back. To volunteer and to see me. Hi, Peter. A uh, leaflet drop. <laughs> I'm just carrying it. Wow. Could you be any more subtle? The two of y'all are seeing each other on the DL. You know, I like to keep this podcast family friendly. <clears throat> Iron Man and Thor rolled him up. He's no Spider-Man. Yeah, what's with you and Spider-Man? Text neighborhood? Ah, inspires you to be a better man. Wow. It's like Spider-Man inspires me to be a better man. What's up, dickwad? Muamo del Mysterio. Man of mystery. Luomo del Mysterio. Babe. I hate those couples. Finishing each other's sentences and I'm like, ugh. Goodness. Ridiculous. Mm, Paris should be great. 
Secretly built as a mind control and tied to a control an army of the insane. Army of the insane, my goodness. What is wrong with people? I'm not going to do anything about the water monster. Yeah, Mysterio guy's all over it. Yeah, he sure likes me. Yeah. Well, you and Betty had just found up, so yesterday, like, bro, you've been together for like, what, maybe a day? Very difficult person to contact, Spider Man. <clears throat> Nick Fury. I'm not trying to you'll be alright. Good to finally meet you. It was a good time to exchange numbers. That is what I'm just saying. Here. Yep. Said we're here because we're here because we're here because we're here. I used to know everything, and now I know nothing. High school kids <laughs> dodging my calls. Yeah. <laughs> High school kids dodging my calls. When does it say the cyclone had a face? He's snoring. Similar event in Morocco. What the? <clears throat> Emotional counseling? What? Are you. You're not even qualified to. So, good night. Yep, yep, good night. Mr. Harrington being overprotective. Nick Fury's in the middle of a briefing. World threatening. Ah! Okay. It is imperative to. <laughs> yeah. He said, Nick Fury don't play. All right. Somebody else touches that. Somebody else knocks on that door. You and I are about to attend another, about to attend another funeral. How is Nick Fury just like out and about? Like, doesn't the world think he's dead, though? That's the only thing about like. I guess the ambiguity of the character of Nick Fury, especially with, like, Secret Invasion coming up. How is Nick Fury... Like... He... Quote-unquote died in Captain America The Winter Soldier. Which was 2014, so this is, like, what? 20... 23? Or 2024? So, like, 9, 10 years later, he's just walking out and about, like... <laughs> When the entire world thinks he's dead. Okay, well. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but... Robin Shabatsky. Dimitri! And Mr. Beck. Yeah, friends, we've been calling you Mr... We've been calling you Mysterio. You know? Eh, you can call me Quentin. If only his last name was Tarantino, though, I mean, that would be, would have been amazing. He is from Earth, but just not yours. Huh, there's a multiverse? <laughs> Oh, 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 wow, 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 okay. So there's a multiverse now. Oh, cool, cool. And quantum theory, quantum mechanics. Um, shout out to my quantum uh, theorists and physicists who are listening. Air, water, fire, earth. Sounds like the avatar. Huh, elementals. Ah, like the movie that's they did, like the kids' movie, Elementals. Ah, Thor was a myth, but now he now you study him in your physics class. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
Each battle they grew and got stronger and stronger. I was the last survivor. Fire! And I get a gun of fuego, fuego, fire, fire, fuego, fuego, fire, fire. For all my uh, reggaeton listeners, reggaeton uh, fans, I guess, fans of reggaeton who are listening, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, what mission? Kill it. We're going to Prague. Yeah, you know, this is like big time stuff. I'm more of just like a street level dude, you know? Like, I ain't really trying to. <laughs> Bitch, please, you're better space. <laughs> off world. Thor's off world. Thor Love and Thunder. Unavailable. Captain. Don't invoke her name. <laughs> Captain Marvel, don't invoke her name. Doctor Strange, unavailable. He's stuck in the, the multiverse. Oh, no, no, I forgot. Doctor Strange 2 hasn't happened yet. My bad. Where was Doctor Strange? I understand. Back. Yeah, get back before your teachers miss you. Become suspicious. Dimitri! Sorry, guys, I had to go grab some Oreos because I am starving. So, we got to... This audio commentary has become a little bit of an audio mukbang, um, a little bit, you know, so apologize if you hear any uh, excessive chewing and, yeah. Mm, Getting drank to the neck by Nick Fury, it's amazing. Shout out to all the girlfriends who were actually, um, actually like look after their man and make sure he's drinking enough water and you know yes <laughs> I really gave him hell all I heard was crying all right everybody to ride we're going to Prague everybody I am definitely going to Prague that is where Falcon and the Winter Soldier was filmed Prague Czech Republic I almost said Czechoslovakia but nope that country doesn't exist anymore but I forgot that nation hasn't existed in the 21st century at all. Now that I think about it, yeah, Czechoslovakia hasn't existed in like 31 years. Bodies, these eyes, I'm not gonna pretend to know what. You know. Austria, one of my heroes in life, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's from Austria. Salute to you, Arnold, if you're listening. I just finished a killer leg workout before I started recording. <laughs> Got my private driver, Dimitri. <laughs> huh? Tony Stark glasses. I want those glasses. I trust you. Say, Edith. Written on biometric scan. Biometric scan accepted. Hello, Peter. Augmented reality security. You get access to all of Tony Tony's protocols. I'd like to see what I can do. How many suit AIs does Tony have? Even dead, I'm the hero. <laughs> Tony loves his acronyms, yeah, yeah. That's something I do. Multiple defense satellites, what? Backdoors to all... Um, okay, this seems very, very dangerous. This is too much power for one person to have. This is fascism. Too soon? They're in Europe? Buy out. They're in Austria. Too soon? Well, yeah, Austria seems like a fun, fun little country with their clean air, recycling, clean bathrooms. 
Which way is there a toilet? There's no toilet on the bus? <laughs> Dimitri just takes one look at him. Stares into his soul. It's like, Dimitri, where exactly are we? I'll figure it out myself. But no, Tony, but no, um, Peter goes to a private room. Is this like a bar? Close the door. Take off your clothes. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's that kind of, uh... Spider-Man cannot be seen in Europe. Oh. But hey, hey, you said, uh... <clears throat> Take off your clothes. Whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Hey. Take it easy. You know what I mean? You know, I thought maybe we could, uh... Start off slow, maybe? Not just skip to the, uh... Dessert, you know, I mean, personally, I, 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 I don't like my dessert first. I would actually prefer to have, like, the main course and, you know, like, enjoy the food first and then dessert. Then dessert. Yes, yes, you should have shot him for taking that photo of you and the supermodel. You want to hook up with some random European <laughs> chick? That's, that's on you. You cannot show her that photo. I have to. She deserves the truth. But 10 minutes, let's go. Let's get back on the road. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Hey, Peter. Can you kill... Um... What's his name? Brad Davis, yes. Can you kill Brad Davis? <laughs> yes, I, I would have been like, yes, Brad Davis is, is a target. We he, he must be eliminated. He must be eliminated. He's a target. Initiating strike. Ah, drone strike. And nobody sees this. Nobody sees this giant, like, meteorite headed towards, like, the Earth. Okay. Well, I know it's a, it's a, it's a drone, but, like, nobody sees this at all. Flash, give me back. Tony, man, I would have punched him upside his head and, like, give me the glass back. I'm sick and tired. Y'all would have taken him and thrown him off the bus. Like, surprise, everybody. I'm Spider-Man. I punch Keanu Reeves. I'm just kidding, uh, Keanu, if you're listening, um, and any of Keanu's people, Keanu's representatives, <laughs> that was simply just a joke. He said, this is not the Autobahn. Look at the big, look at the big mountain goats. Big mountain goats. Okay, so what? Baby mountain goats, you've seen them once, you've seen, seen them a million times, okay? Or to my listeners in uh, Germany, I noticed y'all are six percent of my listeners are in Germany. Y'all probably seen baby mountain goats every other day, you know. You think none of us have noticed, Peter? Your new look, we love it. It's very European. I'm going to Europe one of these days. I'm gonna do like a whole meet and greet. Tell them. Yeah, weird. Prague. Prague, Czech Republic. Shout out to all my listeners in Prague. I'm definitely going to visit Prague. Cause I know that's where they film Falcon in the Winter Soldier. Let's get it. I see there's one black kid in the <laughs> one black kid. Squeaky wheel gets the upgrade grease. Tonight, big surprise. 
Carnival of Lights. Tonight's the Carnival of Lights. Yeah. Robin Trubatsky. Canadian legend. Canadian legend, just like uh, Khalil. Khalil from the Comic Boys Podcast. Salute. Canadian legend. Baby, I'm counting on you. One, two, three, four, two, five. Counting on all of you. We're all counting on you. Yeah, you kidnapped him. Oh, my name is Mysterio. Mm. Mr. Beck? Nah, Mysterio. Mysterio and I will move in. Only hope is to stop it here and now. Keep it away from metal. What about us hurting your friends? Call a drone strike on your own school two bus? Man, I would have done the same thing. Why would you give that technology to a child, sir? Hmm. Nick Fury said, uh, clearly you wasn't ready for this. Yeah, Nick Fury felt bad about snapping it. <laughs> you guys do have sarcasm on this earth, right? Because if there is a uh, multiverse, some other, like, alternate universe where sarcasm is not a thing, I will be staying away from that alternate timeline. I just want a normal life. So I'm trying to chill. I had this whole plan. I'm going to shoot my shot with homegirl. Kick it with my friend Ned. You know what I mean? Yeah, that could be a good game. Yeah. Yeah, just turn around and run away from all this. I know what's at stake. I'm glad you're here. You're worried about your friends, ain't you? Keep them in a safe place for a few hours, they'll be alright. Nice having someone. I wish I had some somebody to talk to about uh, superhero stuff, you know, <clears throat> about recording my podcast and scheduling and budgeting time and you know, that, that scusi, that's Italian. <laughs> nope, nope, that was two locations ago. Was it two locations ago? One location ago. Let's see what we can do. Keep your friends inside for the next few hours. Wow, going to the opera. <laughs> Mr. Hill's like, don't look at me. Upgrade, oh no. Tour company gave you these tickets for free. None of us have ever wanted to go to an opera ever. That's therefore, that's why none of us know how much an opera costs. I always see those ads on like Fathom events. It's like, uh, Four hours, shoot. It's like bad events for like two nights only. It's like, oh, 
oh, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, or they got all these plays, like, they've videotaped, and it's like, only playing one night only. Fortnite Opera. Cool teacher, it's like, hey, don't look at me. I definitely would not want to go to the opera. <laughs> I need to rush out. Honestly, this theater for the opera, it looks like the way that the movie theater looked when I went to go see Babylon. Both times. Like, I saw Babylon in theaters twice. And both times there were like four of us in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Honestly, I would have been like, okay, so you're one of those. It's like, if I say like, hey, it's like, hey, it's like, hey you look pretty. And it's like, oh, it's like, it's like, oh, therefore I have value. Wow. I would have been like, so you're one of those? I right. Bye. Want to go in on a pair? You go ahead, I'll just grab a pair. I'll save your seat next to me. So I'll be up there. I'll be there for you. These bad words, I swear to you. When you breathe, I wanna be the air for you. I'll be there for you. Shout out to my listeners in Jersey. <clears throat> bon Jovi, the Prince of New Jersey. I think that was the name of the album, New Jersey. The song, I'll be there for for you. Yeah, f yeah, five five words. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Gives you the finger. Parker said, I'm out of here. Tell me, man, nobody wants to go to the opera. There's a whole carnival. Like, we should all go to the carnival. Yes. Take a jump, take a jump, take a jump right now. Start the wave, start the wave, start the wave up now. Start the wine, start the wine, start the wine up now because it's carnival. Okay, that's a di okay, that's a different kind of carnival. Okay, you know, shout out to my um, island brothers and sisters, my peoples. Welcome. <clears throat> A little tight around the web shooter. Um, I have no idea. I cannot. I cannot relate. Can't relate. Nope. Nope. All the suits I ha I, I have made. <coughs> <coughs> I'ma shut up. I'ma shut up. This is audio commentary. Ah, Ferris wheel. Honestly, I, I don't. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I mean, the whole like Ferris wheel carnival thing, like it just seems kind of tropey as a couple. It's like, eh. No shade to couples who, you know, go into the carnival is your thing, but eh, for me, I'd rather just like stay in on a Friday night and watch Bullet Train, but that's just me. Uh, <laughs> like, Alright, Beck, you know what to do. No, come back. Wow, y'all really just left dude on the Ferris wheel. Where's the ride operator? Like, where's the, where's the ride, the ride operator? I would have been like, man, y'all ride operators. Ride operators working at Lake Quasi. Like, y'all just a bunch of fake ass <laughs> employees. Is that, is that Spider Man? No, it's like a European ripoff version of. I, it's not him. It's like a, it's a European ripoff version of Spider-Man. You know, it's one of those like foreign knockoff films, like Titanic Two. Again, shout out to my German uh, listeners. Um, <clears throat> you know, or Wings, which is like a Russian like knockoff of Disney Pixar's Planes, and like <laughs> European knock. Night Monkey, Night Monkey, <laughs> the Night Monkeys. <laughs> Night monkey. Okay, honestly, like if I'm ever walking down the street and, and somebody calls me night monkey, we fighting. Okay. <laughs> I saw this movie in theaters and then I kind of made it into a, like a racial slur. <laughs> probably thinking like, what are these night monkeys out here doing? Because like, because I saw this movie late at night too. Like, and then we saw a police car. He's probably thinking like, what are these night monkeys out here doing? Like, 
bunch of night monkeys. I'm not gonna say the other word. <laughs> plan B. We need a plan C, D, E, F. We need more alphabets. We need more alphabets. Shout out to the Fast and Furious crowd. Keep it away from metal. Like, that's impossible. It's at a carnival. Like, how are you gonna keep it away from metal? Like, who's he? Um. Ah! Turned green. Okay, was it like kryptonite or. Probably not. Swing, bada 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 swing, and. Keep your distance. Pyro Man? No. I'm trying to think, what is the villain's name? I got nothing. And y'all and, and y'all still left Ned and Betty on the Ferris wheel. A bunch of fake ass friends. <laughs> That's why I don't trust people. Wow, wow, okay. Oh, 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 something uh Like a reflection? A, refle a, a, a reflector or something? Oh. I saw something in there. <laughs> ah, ASM 28965! Probably a reference to Amazing Spider Man issue 28. Uh, issue 28? I don't know. Uh, Eric Voss, break down this movie for me, please. Um, <clears throat> I should have watched this breakdown before I did this audio commentary. Um, Shout out to Eric Ross. I can't wait to have you on an episode, though. Uh, New rock stars, if you guys are listening, I'm a huge fan of you, of you guys. I can't wait to work with you guys. I love to work with y'all. Whatever happens, I'm glad we met. I wear your merch during my episodes. Shout out to Nerd Riot. <laughs> Salute. He said, I'm going to charge up and I'm going to go binary. Or no, I'm going subatomic. <laughs> In order to save the day and sacrifice myself. Just like I am legend. And he survives. Of course. I totally kiss you, but I think I just... <clears throat> well... It's like I, I might have a mint. Mm. We need to stay vigilant. I got that. There's a void. to join us in Europol. There's a void in this world for people like you. We need you. I'd love to have you in Berlin too. You gotta decide whether you're gonna step up to the plate or not, right? Talk to me, do an Avenger. We need that, bro. Facts, like, are there any like Avengers left? Like, it's like, it's like, it's like they pointed out earlier in the film. Like, are the Avengers even a thing anymore? Like, yeah. I feel like that question would actually like mean something if I actually did this audio commentary in 2019, but. <laughs> Here we are, four years later. <laughs> Let's get a drink. That's my one. Right, because I think in most of Europe isn't like the drinking age like 18 and under. Like in the UK, the drinking age is 18. I want to say Germany, the drinking age is like 16. So, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, when I was 18, people thought I was 21, so...
I miss Europe. Granted, I was only there for like four days, but <laughs> <laughs> this one. What do you want, Peter? What do you want? Whoa, you want to rock now, rock the night. You better believe it's right. Rock now, rock the night. Whoa, whoa, yeah, rock. Rock the Night by Europe. The same band that made the final countdown. I said I got too much responsibility. Drop the drop your glasses. I hear everybody's like super polite in Europe too. Like, hmm. Yeah, I hear y'all are just like super nice. I mean, Canadians too. You know, like I've, I've been to Canada. Y'all are super polite. Europeans, yeah. Except for Brits. Uh, eh, except for British people. <laughs> Again, salute to my listeners across the pond, but like, let's be real. You know, probably the English group of people in all of Europe. I mean. <laughs> I'm just breaking your balls. The next Tony Stark, I trust you. For the next Tony Stark. Huh, <laughs> lemonades. You mean my cajitas? Ah, he didn't trust me to have Edith. He just wanted me to pick someone else. Sure, he would just give himself eating. They need the next Iron Man. Ah, needs to be an adult with some experience. Someone who's good. Like Tony Stark. Like you. Transfer your control over to Quentin Deck. He said, I'm doing the right thing. Stark gave you a choice. It's my choice. You saved my life. You saved the world. He wants you to have them. <laughs> Again. Avengers, like, is there like an Avengers initiation? Are there like trial runs? Like, can you apply to be an Avenger? Can I like submit my application to Avengers Academy? Like, because I'd like to join the Avengers one day. <laughs> yeah, he even kind of looks like Tony with the with the glasses on. I give you about a chance. Here. Pretty. Awesome. Uh, uh, turns out that bar was all just a farce. None of it was real. Uh, I don't have the proper... <laughs> I do not have the proper words to describe. But, uh, a front, a front. It was all, it was all a front. It's all a front. Yes, it was all a front. Peter thinks that he is free, but no. Turns out that Mysterio, all right, Quentin Beck, Mysterio, he is uh, just a manipulative bastard. Toasts. Tony Stark. Boo. The Jester King. Okay, he's literally every Marvel villain. Wants revenge against Tony? Like, come on. Binary augmented retro framing or BARF. $600 million from a little therapeutic experiment. Ah, okay, so they. <laughs> BARF. They've retconned Quentin Beck. 
into the storyline. He said, he said, my technology could change the world, and he fired me. You probably are unstable, okay? You're giving me huge freaking, like, oh, gosh, what is his name? Corey Stoll. Corey was able to build this in a cave. Box of scraps. Ha <laughs> That one guy from that one scene in Iron Man, he also played Ralphie in A Christmas Story. To go in. Ah, he had screenwriters? Wow, okay. He's just like the Mandarin. The fake Mandarin. <laughs> Staging electromagnetic pulses? Wow, a lot of work has gone into this fake villain. Or fake hero, I guess. Oh, I found out that it was going to be that Edith was going to be step up. It's going to be handed over to Tony Stark. Darren Cross, Darren Cross. That's who you're giving me, like Darren Cross vibes. Who is apparently no longer a hundred percent a dick. Life is, it's, it's never too late to not be a dick. Remember that, guys, okay? Hmm. That's a spoiler for anyone who has not seen uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, though. Hormonal <laughs> teenager. Eh. So, a teenager. My very wealthy crew. You've... Okay, clearly you're very unstable, sir. Like, there's a reason why. There's a reason why Tony fired you when he did. Um, and you've spent all this money, all this time, all this effort, all this money into creating a fake villain. Done with the mission. Trip's over. Is that a incredible coincidence? Here, book me flights right now. Keep of Science. Welcome to the New Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. Camp of Science. Huh. Science teacher. It's like witches. This <laughs> is live streaming. You sound like me. <laughs> That's literally me, like, in where I'm at now. My little recording studio, my study room. If you guys have watched my live streams, then you've seen my makeshift recording studio in the study room like I gotta go into like the lobby area and be like hey can you guys like keep it down I'm, I'm live streaming yeah. <laughs> can you keep it down I'm live streaming ah should have said something when you had the chance thanks hey when that happens it's a leap of faith so I'm not ready for this trip to be over I want to do something then fun that's not on the itinerary or planned or with Mr. Harrington. Nobody likes Mr. Harrington. <laughs> it's overprotective. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. Yeah, five's good. Yeah, yeah ten minutes. Yeah, five minutes, ten minutes. Night monkey. Night monkey, they're, they're actually going with that. <laughs> Y'all look like a bunch of night monkeys. <laughs> Alright, where do you want to go? <laughs> she said, I'll go anywhere as long as I'm with you. <laughs> Used to execute people on the bridge. Wow. Sounds like something I wish I would have seen. Yeah, this is thing I've been wanting to talk to you about like for like a while. You know? I like you a lot. I'm just gonna tell you, 
you know. I was about, wow, figured it out. Only problem I have with this film is that MJ told Peter that he's Spider-Man. Whereas in the original Spider-Man 2, it was a really dramatic plot point, Peter finally admitting to MJ that he's Spider-Man. Disappear out of nowhere for no reason. The tummy. <laughs> Male escort. Male escort. I, I, I honestly would have gone with that. I would have been like, oh, yeah, I'm not Spider-Man. I'm a male escort. <laughs> I am not. I swear I'm not. Please don't keep. Huh, the news never lies. Maybe in Europe. Not here in America. Not American news outlets. Yikes. Night Monkey. That's Spider-Man. Nah, I'd probably use similar webs. Maybe he's a spider monkey. No, 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 Spider Monkey's the third. No, Spider Monkey is the Spider Man from Asia. Spider Monkey or uh, Supaidaman. I am wearing a kimono as I'm recording this. No cap. Oh, a little projection. A little sparky, sparky boom. No. Projector or something. It's really advanced. <laughs> elementals, are, ele elementals are fake. Elementals are fake, but there was like fire, destruction. Who would do something like that? I wonder. Oh, Mysteria. No shit. It's like, okay, I am Spider-Man, right? Full transparency. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not joking. 100% serious. I was only 67% sure. It's like, why are you? Really gotta get out of here, but. I can't believe they figured it out. Yeah, it's a plot point that they just threw away. Again, in the comments, please at me. Try and convince me that Far From Home is better than Spider-Man 2. <laughs> you can try. I mean, you'll fail, but... <laughs> I mean, you'll fail. I mean, we can agree to disagree, but, you know, I'm right. <laughs> I believe in a healthy dialogue. Do you close the drones? Ah, so we're... Ah, so we're, uh... We're doing, a uh, rehearsal. Double damage and then run it again. Mix it up, get it right. Hold by another thing. Run it back again. Run it back again. Rewind. Hit rewind. This time we'll do it right. Run it back again. Run it back again. For all the 2000s kids who remember that banger from uh, Minutemen. All right. Salute. Gen Z, y'all don't know, y'all don't, y'all don't know nothing about that. Okay. Anyone under the age of like, gosh, I don't know. Hmm. Anybody under the age of eighteen, you have no idea. Probably never heard that song. Probably never even seen Minutemen. What's going on with my hand? Why is the way I said it? Want it back again? 
I was in like second grade. I think that was summer 2008. Yeah, it's just one drone. One drone is missing a projector. I'm trying to fool seven million people. That's how old this movie is. The world population was only seven billion. Right now it's eight billion. Nobody wants a bullet in their head, right? Okay, honestly, if I were Ralph from A Christmas Story right now, I would have quit. I would have quit. I would have been like, hmm, you're willing to kill us? Like, you're willing to kill each and every one of us? Go ahead, shoot me. Ah, whoa! And Parker's found out. William. And then I'm gonna kill Peter Parker. His butt's on your hands! If I were William, I would've quit. You gonna hold me at gunpoint? Hey. Either you gonna pull the trigger, or I'm gonna quit. You better hope I don't survive. Almost killed Brad? Tap your phone. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, okay. Just, um. I hear changing clothes in front of me. Okay, well, wow, okay, you're just moving real fast with the whole uh, relationship thing. I was thinking maybe we'd like ease into it, maybe. You know, I, I'm all about like the five course meal. And then the dessert, guys, okay? You gotta understand, you see, it's like Khalil said. You want the fast food, you go to you go to Comic Boys. You want to be well-fed. You want to enjoy the food and, like, uh, savor every bite and, like, digest it and, like, all right? Work your way up to the dessert. Then you come to Cobb's Corner. Using hologram projectors. Yeah, working the case together. Yeah. Family in Berlin. Ah. <laughs> they want me to want me to stay with my want me to stay with family in Berlin. I mean, I wish I had some family in Berlin to be honest. As far as I know, I don't have any family in Europe. Only family I know I got outside the U.S. I got family in Canada. Shout out to my cousins in Oshawa. That's just outside Toronto for the uninitiated. It's not Toronto proper. It's in the GTA. Which stands for Greater Toronto Area. Again, to the uninitiated. Berlin! I'm definitely visiting Berlin. One of these days. I'm going to Berlin, I'm going to Munich. Nacht monkey. Guten Nacht. Guten Morgen. My name, Morgan. It means morning in uh, German. Driving with no speed limits. Volkswagen. Das Auto. <laughs> Audi. Adidas. Puma. All German companies. I had no idea. Huh, seatbelt rule. Did, did you forget I'm Hitman's bodyguard? <laughs> I would've been like, you buying me a new seatbelt. You just gonna like, just super strength all, just be pulling on it, tugging. But yeah, uh, my listeners in Germany, let me know what are some of the hot spots in Germany that I gotta visit. Definitely Berlin, maybe Munich. There's a piece of the Berlin Wall that is outside. There's a museum in Boston, an art museum, and outside the museum they have a piece, an actual piece of the Berlin Wall. That thing's really nice. Death and destruction was created by this. Ah, using drones. Hmm. 
What to tell about this? Ah, 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 my spider senses are tingling. It's, it's Beck. He's here. Ah, this isn't even a real black site. <laughs> okay, you literally just shot a kid. You have no soul. I'm sorry. You shot a child, sir. I'm calling... <laughs> I'm calling every law enforcement agency in the world on you. Interpol, Homeland Security, CPS. Honestly, that's the equivalent of like, in the old GTA games. You kill one, you, you could kill like five dudes and like they and, and they send like two cops after you. You kill one woman in GTA, they send every cop in the game after you. They send the, the SWAT, the military. <laughs> you kill one woman in GTA. For those of y'all who like played San Andreas, like Wow. Okay, I imagine this is what acid looks like. And acid like looks and feels like. Just this like hijack of his hijacking Peter's subconscious. Like this is what I imagine acid looks like. Again, never done. I, I have no idea. But I'm imagining. I can, like, I can imagine. Kinda like in Doctor Strange or um, you know, Cocaine Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yourself and tell yourself, my time is now. <laughs> Your time is up. My time is now. You can't see me. My time is now. <laughs> huh, and the sweatsuits. Give us someone to believe in. Ha! Huh, you control the truth. You sound like Mussolini. Sorry, I mean, you know, I'm ta I'm currently taking like a world history class where we like recently learned about like <sighs> World Wars one and two and the inter the period between the wars and Mussolini and all that and so I mean like I control the truth. Yeah, you sound like a fascist. Ah, diehard Marvel fans will know Tony Stark's full name is Anthony Edward Stark. He's only referred to on screen as Anthony one time. If you remember back in Iron Man 2 during the Senate hearing when Justin Hammer showed up, he referred to Tony as Anthony. He said, I, I defer. He said, I'm no expert. I defer to you, Anthony. So, yeah. <laughs> All you gotta do is step aside, and now you have boom, boom, and now you did. Okay, what is it with all these like covert cars and like black black suburbans? That's like the <laughs> top secret car of choice. Could you be any more conspicuous? Who'd you tell? Just tell me who did you tell? Wow. I would have been like, um, tell me something only Nick Fury would know. I would have given him like a security question or something. I would have been like, um, what's my name? Where was I born? What is my date of birth? Boom. Ask him a security question. Yeah. <laughs> I really am sorry. Man, no, you're not. <laughs> wow! Okay, like one of them trains just shoot. That's another thing. I mean, I hear like the, the subway. I, I've taken the subway in London, which I realize in London, your subway system, it's very clean, but it shuts down at like midnight. It's not like New York where it's like 24 7. And also, your trains are very fast, too, you know. In Europe, in Asia, definitely reviewing bullet train. 
That might be my next audio commentary, bullet, bullet train, maybe. You have to wait and see. Depends how I feel. Hi. <laughs> Miss Bulbs. I seem a bit cold. You speak really good English. Welcome to the Netherlands. Yeah. The Dutch. Netherlands. I wonder, like... Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I hear you, your European prisons are actually pretty nice. Okay, I mean... Again, I don't know for sure, and I n never will know, but I hear that you, European prisons are actually pretty nice. You have more freedom, you got like job training, you know. Yeah, you're actually helping folks become better people. We need that in the United States, I, I think. You know, prison reform, you know. Thank God. Everyone's so nice here. I, I, I want to go to the Netherlands. I want to see, like... You know, I'm sure, you know, Europeans are all very, very polite, very kind people. You know? Netherlands, too. Shout out to my listeners in the Netherlands. <laughs> I messed up. I need a red. Book op Langerdijk. It's... Book op Langedijk? <laughs> Book op Langedijk. That is the place I am visiting. I am visiting Book op Langedijk. Alright? To my listeners over in Book op Langedijk, I'm coming to you. Nah, okay. That sounded way, that sounded super creepy, but I mean. I'm coming, I mean, I'm coming to visit Book op Langedijk. A, 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 field, a field of flowers as well. It's uh, really nice. Stop in the name of God before you break my heart. I can tell by the price it was an adult film. Uh, <laughs> he said, you don't got to go into greater detail. We can't get demonetized. <laughs> said, it's a PG-13 movie, all right? Not a R-rated movie, okay. Spider-Man, Far From Home. Huh. He's getting stitched up. How can I relax when I messed up so bad? Damn, really just like handed over Tony's life's work to a dude that you met only a couple days ago. We all miss you, Tony. Yeah. Who's gonna be the next Spider Man? I mean, oh, who's gonna be the next Iron Man? I mean, I could be the next Iron Man. You're not Iron Man. You're never gonna be Iron Man. <laughs> not even Tony. Sorry guys, I just had a little uh, visitor. <clears throat> Probably looking for a study room. Your tech is missing. Friends in trouble. You're all alone. What are you going to do about it? Shout out to Joe Madison, the Black Eagle. 
Series XM 126. Hovering over two of you for the next last 15 minutes, but okay. <laughs> Give me your phone. <laughs> he's tracking your. He's tracking their phones. Password. <laughs> the head of security. Your password is password. I said I'm. I'm gonna be in London soon. Yes, sir. Need a suit, <laughs> and this has just been on the plane this whole time. All right, yes, yes, all this technology. This is going to exist. This will exist. Yes, nanotech. Everything you got on Spider Man. Ah, Iron Spider. And I think one of those designs is from Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Yes, the holograms. Let's take care of the music. Yes, ACDC. No, this man just said Led, Led Zeppelin. That is blasphemy. Banner, 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 banner. Back in black, I hit the side. I bet the gold to bed to me back right myself. The noose from a noose that kept me hanging around, and I'm thinking up how to get me. Tony Stark probably turned in his grave right now. This kid said Led Zeppelin. Oh, the Kree had sleep had sleeper cells. Secret invasion. I'm in Heathrow Airport. Heathrow Airport's nice. London's a fun city. Nothing scientific about this science tour at all. No one else notice how shady Peter is? You found him in some restroom with a woman in his underwear? No one else understands the truth. The very concept of objective truth is fading out of the world. George Orwell. Was that 1984? Yeah, about you, Brad. You taking pictures of people in the bathroom? Ooh wee! Oh, what's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh wee! Oh, what's up with that? What's up with that? Be a cool teacher right now. Huh? It's weird. Photos in the bathrooms, urinals. Or stalls. Okay? <laughs> Gotta bust all to yourselves. All right. Can't say no to that. I have the kids. Hope I'm just sweet. And nothing. Damn it. Damn it. What's damn it? God help us, Siri. God help us all. All right, never end, everybody. There's no Avengers coming. Um, no Avengers are coming, and um, we're just gonna let this one play out. Literally, be shaking hands with the Queen. God rest her soul. God rest her soul. And God save King Charles. He's the king, right? Again, listeners cross the pond. Let me know. Let's save the world, folks. That's exactly what I'm doing with my uh, podcast. We're saving the world. Just stay calm. You're an FOS. Chill. That is fake. Yeah, it's fake. Like how uh, professional wrestling is fake. 
Oh, you want? There's a search bar left behind. Did they integrate the server? <laughs> it's not mine. I don't ever call this number again. Like, how'd you get my phone number? Ah, Dorset Coast, United Kingdom. Hey, <laughs> your boy called it the London Bridge. Tower Bridge, London Bridge. The bridge in London. The New York Bridge. <laughs> There's 21 bridges in and out of New York. Take me to the New York Bridge. <laughs> Last time you got by a train. I have a sixth sense. The Peter Tingle. The Peter Tingle. I heard it wasn't working. I've been sleeping with your aunt. <laughs> it's like I've been uh, sleeping with your aunt. You get the Peter, Peter Tingle back online. <laughs> You get the Peter Tingle back online. <laughs> you know, it's... I've been not so secretly seeing your aunt. <sighs> he said, I'm out of here. That driver, that, that driver said, I'm gone. The bus driver's gone? Mr. Dunn, I have no... Nope. Don't put me into this. Don't put me into this, Roger. The witches are back. <laughs> yeah, like, why are y'all still on the bus? I rode one of those double decker buses for free because my debit card wasn't registering, so they just let me on. Again, shout out to my listeners in the United Kingdom. That bus driver, he is a real one for that, that day. Literally, as I got to Heathrow Airport, my luggage was slightly over the, uh, the limit. And they and they was gonna make me pay a pay a fee, but then the lady at the desk she said, you know what, go right ahead. We're not gonna charge you. And she's a real one for that. Yeah. <laughs> no, sonic boom, sonic uh, sonic blast, sonic wave, supersonic wave blast. Um, whatever. Like the sonic cannon from the Incredible Hulk. They're doing forces like the Power Rangers. Think of Voltron. Voltron Force. Hey, Mysterio, he's about to save you. We should go. Kill that witch. He's <laughs> kill that witch, Baba. <laughs> I never leave my men behind. Dad, I never leave my men behind. I like the new suit. Very nice, but. <laughs> Stay sticky. Sucked into the storm. It's like we need to have a serious conversation about you and my aunt. It's like, eh, nah. Discussion for another day. Hmm. Another conversation for another day. This guy is play great. <laughs> Drawing energy from the Earth's core. That's some bullshit. <laughs> you see now, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Your savior is here. Nope, not Loki. Spider-Man. The city of Townsville. It's not real, it's not real. It's 
like whoa under different circumstances this would be totally awesome like mm -hmm. again under different circumstances I see, okay, you're jumping from uh, drone to drone. Sticky, stick, stick, stick. Stick, stick, sticky, stick, 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 boom, chicka, 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 boom, chicka, chicka, chicka. What's up, the boom, chicka, boom? If you get that reference, you are a real one. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so, yeah, we see, he sees, oh, it's Peter. The web and and you no longer work you no longer work and none of the drones are working ladies and gentlemen oh oh and we can see got me Dave Chappelle action on you? Yes, yes, we support Dave Chappelle here at Cops Corner. Right. <laughs> he just keeps. Hey, hey, okay. Right. And the drone just flew and knocked my man right out, Scott. <sighs> it's like now everyone can see all the uh, drones. Yes, Janice, I still need the cape. I still need the cape. Kill the illusion. Monster was full of drones. Monster was full of drones. It's crazy. <laughs> she just lands, just casually lands a plane in um, London. I work with Spider-Man. I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. Wow, and bye-bye Jet. No, nope, I guess we're not gonna ever see that Jet ever again, sadly. Edith, target Spider-Man. Kill the kids, you're my good. Every law enforcement agency. In the world is coming after you. I'm sending the United Nations after you. UNICEF. Oh yeah, the, the Royal Guards. I know they they carry like AK-47s, but they're like the only ones allowed to own guns. Because gun, because pretty sure handguns are illegal in the United Kingdom. The police don't even carry. Police, the police don't even care, but like royal guards, the crown jewels. Probably got like a couple million dollars worth of stuff in there. Probably. So like a, I don't know, ball with spikes. I see you, Ed. I see you. I see. Ah, sneak attack. <laughs> wow. I just can't do that. Cap shield um, disobeys the laws of physics and does whatever we need it to when we need to do it. Kind of like vibranium. It does whatever we need it to do when we need it to do it. Happy Hogan finally realizing that he's in a movie. Trying to get the back, I can't shake the drones. Shake, 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 senora, shake your body, man. Shake, 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 senora, shake it all the time. <clears throat> That's definitely the battle music. That's the real battle music that you should be listening to. Disco Inferno, as you know, Peter's just on fire. Just the roof, the roof, 
the roof is on fire. We don't need no one to let that blood clot burn. <clears throat> what song is that originally from? Go up. All these darn drones. Like. Imagine seeing all this stuff happen, like all these explosions just happen casually. Ah, very clever. Uh, yes, it's probably the best shot in the film. Or not. Ah, Sonic Cannon, I see. This is the same technology from the Sonic Cannon used in The Incredible Hulk and then later used by War Machine during the airport battle in Captain America Civil War. I guess The Incredible Hulk isn't completely useless as a film. I still consider The Incredible Hulk to be the, ve the, the worst Marvel movie ever made. The worst MCU film. All right, worse than Eternals, worse than Thor The Dark World. Please at me in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I actually, I actually kind of want, want to hear from you guys on that. Like, what is the MCU's worst film? Waste of my life playing video games. <laughs> We're all confessing. I post stupid videos daily for people to like me. <laughs> I'm a fake ID. Say this, am I about to die? Obsessed with telling the truth. <laughs> well, that was Spider Man's aunt. <laughs> fake ID. I'm trying to think, what would be my confession? Ha, we're sharing. Wow, okay. Um. <laughs> All right, we got MacGyver Peter. Pete MacGyver. Taking apart the drones. I uh, got a little, got a little uh, shield and a hammer. I don't know if he, I don't know if he's paying homage to Captain America. And it's a bomb. Pete MacGyver. And all the drones stopped. And at the 11th hour, of the 11th day, of the 11th month, all the drones stopped. The Armistice Agreement. Look it up. So give me the glasses. Come and get them. I mean, you've hijacked your, hip, your hippocampus. Dark hallway. Peter Tingle. He said you must use the force. Put the blast shield down and reach out with your feelings. And dodge these explosions. But not in slow motion. This is not the Matrix. We can't get sued. Uh, hey! And we are going to... And all the drones now, nah. and just fire all the drones. <sighs> I tell you, it's like you got stormtrooper aim. And again with that sonic cannon, again with that that sonic blast. Y'all just really wanted Incredible Hulk to be relevant. Beck. Quentin Beck. Trusted him. Can't trust nobody. <laughs> yeah, you're a good person. Such a weakness. Ha! Nope, that's not the real you. You forgot, I got my sixth sense. My spidey sense is tingling. You can't trick me anymore. Can 
cancel all the drones. Just cancel all the drones. Go back to the satellite that you came from. The Halbert. <laughs> okay, Mr. D&D. &D. Or Beast Slayer, whatever that game was that you were playing. D&D is not a video game. I am seeing Dungeons and Dragons in theaters on Saturday. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. People, they need to believe. And nowadays, they'll believe anything. Very true, very, very true. I'll believe anything. Although, there was the War of the Worlds hoax back in like the 1930s, where these two guys made us think that aliens were invading the Earth from Mars or like, yeah. Okay, William. I feel like that scene didn't go anywhere. It's like, so William has like, I guess, downloaded the Edith, like, program or whatever. What happened to William? What happened to my guy from a Christmas store? What happened to him? Drones that were following us and then they just stopped. No, it wasn't me. Just luck. They all ran out of batteries. They all ran out of battery at the exact same time. You should need some help. The Black Dahlia. We were gonna buy this, we were gonna go to Paris. We we're gonna go to Paris, and I was gonna give it to you at the top of the Eiffel Tower, and then you'd kiss me. But, you know. I wasn't just watching you because I thought you were Spider Man. I actually liked you. For you. Then they haven't break off. Bechdelia liked the murder. It's better broken. Maybe we're better off this way. It's better that we break. Peter and MJ. Whatever happened to Liz? Anybody know? I know she moved away, but like... What if she shows up in like maybe, I don't know, Morbius 2 or... Whatever's going on with the Sony Marvel Universe, they gotta sort that out. Get that off the ground. I'm glad you stayed too. Parents is going to be deceiving. It's I had zero doubts about Beck. He's fine. He's with a girl. <laughs> He'll call you. Like, like either him or like one of his people, like, will call you. He better watch your ass. Don't even think about ghosting me. Hmm. You got that? You do not ghost Nick Fury. New <laughs> Newark, New Jersey. Uh, they flew into New Jersey. Okay, so that's what kind of trip this was. You don't even fly back into JFK. You fly into Newark, New Jersey, of all places. Wow. 
Mm, yeah, they're so cute. We should go on a double date. We broke up. What? Wow. So, okay, let me get this straight. You guys fell in love. Fell in love. Got together and then broke up all in a matter of like weeks. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Young love is crazy. I, I don't even know if I can say that because I'm because I'm only twenty two. But like high school relationships just make zero sense to me. <laughs> I was 16 in 2017, six years ago. Are you did. <laughs> uh, uh, he says yes. She's like, not really. Summer fling that evolves and grows. Like, I still have no idea where it's going to go. On or off? Eh, bye. <laughs> it's like, uh, you guys have got a lot to sort out, but I'm gonna go because I have a date. I have a relationship of my own now. You guys work on defining whatever it is you guys have going on. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> Honestly, I would have filed a complaint at the next like town hall meetings. Like, Spider-Man's always swinging on our roofs. All right. On top of our buses and our street corners, okay. I can't work in my office in peace. He's all running on my windows, man. Like <laughs> boycotting Spider-Man. That, that's what I would have done. Hey, flew through the central atrium. We still don't know who are the new occupants of Stark Tower. Is it the Baxter Building? Is it just the MetLife Building? Because that's where the MetLife Building is in real life. <laughs> so excited for what we have to show you next. One, two, three. Question mark. Phase four. Ah, huh, wearing a Joan of Arc shirt. All right. Okay, yeah, MJ. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Swinging through the streets. And that's a wrap on Spider-Man Far From Home. Based on the Marvel Comics by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. R.I.P. to both of those legends. Louis Desposito. Ah, Victoria Alonso, who no longer works for Marvel. She was executive producer there for like 17 years or something like that. I will let... I'll let um, comic boys talk about that. I don't really get that deep into that stuff. That cop's corner. But. Michael Giacchino. Starring Tom Holland. Samuel L. Jackson. Zendaya. Kobe Smulders. Canadian legend. John Favreau, J.B. Smoove, my man, Jacob Batalon, Martin Starr, Tony Rivolori, with Marissa Tomei, and Jake Gyllenhaal. Aubrey Rice, Newman Arak, Makar, Remy Hill. Casting by Sarah Holly Finn. Now I definitely am traveling Europe. Right. I hope to meet some of my listeners. Some of my uh, listeners in Europe. I hope to meet, meet some of you guys as I'm going through Europe. Marvel Studios production. 
Columbia Pictures presents. How many companies made this movie? Like Pascal Pictures, Spider Man Far From Home, 2019. Give it to him. Eighth Ave. I feel like I've actually been to this exact street corner. Eh, never doing that again. Never doing that again. Eh, see you later. Be safe. Just get out of here. Breaking news. Oh, Mama Sephora's death. Oh, so this video was probably from William. That was that scene. Okay. He attacked him for some reason. Dark technology. The only one was going to be the new Iron Man. Oh, no. Not Spider Man. Not the friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Oh, no. He would never do that. Execute them all. Ah, uh, I see what they did. They took it out of context. They re edited the video. Controversial news. Gilly Bugle. Infowars. Spider Man. That's possible. Burn. Mysterio. J. Jonah Jameson. Yes. J.K. Simmons. Greatest superhero of all time. Mysterio. Break yourselves. Man's real name. Oh. Peter Parker. Whoa. What the f Language! And... If you really think I'm going to sit through all these, uh... Credits for the end credit scene? Nah, bro. We're just gonna skip ahead a little bit. Wow, they really just outed Peter Parker. That's, that's tough. While you're sitting there, too. It's like, <laughs> shoot, that's, that's rough, man. I would've been like, uh, that's not me. My name is not Peter Parker. My name is, um, Benjamin F. Parker. <laughs> ah, all right. Audi. Europe. Hell and Fury. Ah, ah, ah. No, no. And looks like there's scrolls. Talos and the other one from Captain Marvel. We helped. How am I supposed to know the whole thing was fake? Closing the craftsmanship and that. <laughs> wow, they're shapeshifters themselves. How are they supposed to know that it was all fake? Ah. It's very touching. Yeah, really quite touching. Went off the rails. We need you to come back. Everyone keeps asking what the Avengers are. Huh, meanwhile, Nick Fury is on a beach somewhere. Clearly, that's fake. Huh? It's not even like a set. He's just in a room. Head right back to work <laughs> with other scrolls. Ah, might be an introduction to Sword. Or, again, Secret Invasion. Dedicated with love and thanks, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Again, RIP. The legends. Legends. They died. Both of them died the year before this movie came out. They, came, they died in 2018. This movie came out in 2019. Looking forward to Secret Invasion going forward. Um, we still... That post credit scene still really hasn't gone anywhere yet. I mean, the mid credit scene, definitely. We got Spider-Man No Way Home um, late 2021. It was almost 2022. It was December of 2021. But um, anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for listening to this audio commentary of Spider-Man Far From Home. If you listened all the way to the end, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Submit them in the comments, in, in the comments section below. You can email me directly at cobbscornerpodcast at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at future underscore mechanical underscore engineer. Follow Cobbs Corner on Instagram at Cobbs underscore corner underscore podcast. And follow Cobbs Corner on TikTok at Cobbs Corner Podcast. That's C-O-B-B-S Corner Podcast. All lowercase, no spaces on TikTok. Make sure that you turn on your post notifications because I drop a new episode every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tune in to our weekly live streams, Thursday nights, 7 o'clock on Twitch. That's all I got for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed your stay here at Cobb's Corner. I'll talk to all of you in the next episode. Peace.